is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number 17 of our Pokemon Sword and Shield Warlock Challenge. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, Midnight Wolf. Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever it is. It is some time of the day. Uh, midnight, <laughs> are you ready to uh, kick off? I am ready. I have my squad here. Pokelinks is not updated for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> no, that's okay. We're just doing this. That is the main team that you see on the screen that will be uh, taking on our friend Midnight with, I believe. So we're walking down yeah, here about to take is... on Ryan. We're gonna, or I said Ryan. I meant Leon. Leon. All right, Leon. Here he is so, with his cape. We're literally just gonna click as fast as we can to get through all this. Not is it? Is it based on turns to defeat Eternus? I don't know. I have no idea. I made a very crucial mistake. There's one Pokemon I need to put in my team to take on that freaking beast of a Dino. Actually, no, I got I got the Pokemon actually. Then the team, we're good. I mean, I think if we say like the team that you take to Leon is the team that you're taking to the final a match. Bit, the team that we officially take Leon on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's right. the actual team that we take Le with Leon. I'm just hitting B because we got to beat a turn. Just, that's the, the objective here. Come on. Oh, there's lots of, like, energy Oh, we memes. still have to take on freaking Rose, too. Yeah, that's that's got to happen. Oh, I forgot about him. Leon and me are running. I love that Leon just looks like he's put, like, a quilt just up on his... I, it's a cave, obviously, but I, it looks like he's just put a quilt over his shoulders. Do we have to go to each town and defeat a Dynamax Pokemon in each town? I think that's post game. Gotcha. I think. But I could be very that's wrong. That's the uh, to get the legendary dog. Yes. Oh, do we have to go to the slumbering world straight away? Do we? Yeah, we do. We go straight to the slumbering well. Alright. Hey, I got a great idea. Let's go to the slumbering well to find the shadow Pokemon. <laughs> that may or may not eat us. That may or may not exist. <laughs> how, how much do you think uh, the character's house cost? I reckon zero. I reckon she built it. think she built it? Yeah, I think she built a house. How much would it cost to buy a house that expensive in said location in the UK? Um, if we're thinking, it doesn't have an upstairs, does it? Nope. Let's say two bedroom. Uh, single detached with a little bit of land. Probably you're looking at four to five hundred thousand pounds. Yep, I can see that. I would, I would kind of assume. Let's run our way through here. Oh, flashbacks to the beginning of the game. Oh, there's a Pokemon that's got what? Oh, there's a there's a new shiny method of hunting. Tell me about it. Um, essentially, um, if you have a hundred, uh, so if you've battled it a hundred times. And then you see the ones with the auras, so the brilliant Pokemon, I think is what they're actually mm -hmm. called. If you see ones with auras, um, there's like a 1 in 683 chance that it'll be shiny with the shiny charm. If you defeat 100 of one Pokemon. Yeah. Inch. And then it's only with the brilliant one, compared to the 500 you do from a normal Pokemon. Hmm. Might have to test that out. So what are we going to do the, uh, gosh darn, Gen 3 Shiny Race? Or Shiny Lock? Oh. Oofed. Probably after Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> Easily. Oh, here they come. With yours, is Zamaz entering from? Mm, I'll be able to tell you. Yep, sure is. Yeah, because for me, Zacian's in front. I really like Zamazenta better than Zacian. I'm not going to lie. See, I I prefer Zacian. Really? 
Yeah. I think Zace or Zama's intro just looks meaner. Hmm, I suppose. I kind of like that um, Zacian has a cut off ear. Yeah. But these two mons are the ones you can get as shinies at the minute. Correct. The codes have been released. I believe you have to go to a GameStop and beg for one. Yep. And if they tell you you need to buy something, that is not true. So don't say so you don't accept it because you don't have to. Oh, it's a cutscene. Catch up. I don't know what Catch you up. have, Midnight, that lets you skip things. But I'm jealous. <laughs> You're talking to an ex speedrunner. <laughs> <laughs> Which I suppose I did legit used to do speedruns. Were you like the best? In but the not business? not Pokemon. I did I did some Spyro. Spyro. What's the fastest you can beat the OG PS1 Spyro in? Oh, um, which one? I never know the difference. The but it's the one so, that has the crazy little alien on the outside of the map that you have to figure out a way how to jump on, then you have to run them down. Alien on the outside of the map. Yeah, the, the map is like, imagine the map being in a big old circle. Um. Oh, that's Year of the Dragon. Oh, I think that's the same one uh, we have to save the eggs. Yeah, um, I think. Um. I think, like, the, the quickest is, like, 30 minutes. No way. I know for the second one, you can do it in, like, 16 minutes. Like, it is super, super quick. That is but the, um, ridiculous. The Spyro 3, like, in the first world, you have to get quite a few eggs, but when you get further on, uh, you don't have to get as many. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you use ex exploits to be able to like swim in the air so you can get to different places the, uh, where the portals are stored. Jeez. And then you do a really weird trick to get to the, the sorceress at the end. Oh, it's a move. My favorite part of Spyro is that you can get Ice Breath and Fire Breath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in... Um, the fourth and fifth games, you do get Ice Breath like as a permanent feature mm. possibility. So you get like um, the fourth game, you get a variety of different breaths. You got Bubble Breath, uh, which sounds weird. Bubble, like Bubble <laughs> you get Kind of, yeah. Nice. Uh, then you've got um, Fire, Electric, and Frost. I think are the other ones. Electric breath sounds pretty cool. And then, and then the next game it's uh, electric fire, water and ice. Water and ice. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. But the water one is just useless, basically. It's using a couple of puzzles, but that's about it. Wow. I don't know what I'm supposed to be actually doing right now. <laughs> Come on, Rose. Did you get the Did you get the sheet the sword? Yeah, I picked did it up. Talk to Hop. Uh, I assume so because it's telling me now to go to Hammerlock. So I have I have passed you. I'm now talking to Rayhan. Nice. All your dreaded steel types will fall to my best friend, Africa. <laughs> Raids down in Africa. Oh, you're battling Rose already? <laughs> wow. Take me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. Rain. 
video is going to get copyrighted. <laughs> get those copy strikes. Mm. It's okay to be worth it. This is your episode, though, so it, that's, that, fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not monetized <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Look at that egg. Mm. Big chicken must come out of that egg. Ferrothorn. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of Ferrothorn on this game. I like Ferrothorn just in general because it's an awesome Pokemon, but mm. I kind of am afraid of it. <laughs> it's cursed. If it leech seeds were out, I could switch into the Blaziken and kill it one hit, but... I wonder how the game says, "Hey, if you con if you physically uh, contact this Pokemon, you're gonna take damage, right?" So if a Pokemon yeah. uses a physical move, there must be—I I don't know—I haven't looked into the code for my personal game yet, but there must be. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's only if it's if it's a move that actually touches um, yep. the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I believe I am out of juice in my batteries. Oh, <laughs> I had that happen in a match the other day. I am out of juice. Mm. Right, we are going to go into you. Not today, my friends. <laughs> that is why the Phantom keeps backup batteries in his desk. Always gotta have spares. And that's a dead Ferrothorn. Goodbye. And that is a dead Ferrothorn. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, I lied! No. Oh, oh no, that power whipped die. me! Oh no! <gasps> oh shoot, I thought I lost. Oh my god. It was cursing itself up, boosting its physical attack. But it was no match yeah. for Africa. Africa just. It's like base 112 defense yeah. or something. Like, it is just a mon that cannot. In fact, you could probably just sit Africa in front of everything except Ferrothorn on this team and just blitz it. Yeah, it was until I just did some pretty nasty damage got dealt to it. Shiny Peserker is pretty cool. If you haven't seen that. Uh, is it like a golden yeah. color? Ooh. Also, that Kling Klang was faster than my Nidoqueen. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> it's the question. What does a levitate Kling Klang? <laughs> Maybe it's shift gear before it go out of the Pokeball. That's a dead berserker. Kevin. Now here comes the Copperaja. I never know how to actually say it. Yeah, I think you said it right, Copperaja. Yeah, because I believe a Raja is a like a political holder or something. Oh, is it? I, I didn't know. Ooh, wild charge didn't happen, my friend. I'm just gonna go ahead and Dynamax. A hippo versus an elephant, guys. Who's gonna win? <laughs> I hear they're both pretty dangerous. I think hippos kill more people than men do, or than uh, elephants do. Uh, yes, I think so, but they do it by accident most of the time. Yeah. Oh, it didn't quite die. How unfortunate. That was your crit. It did like four damage. 
Oof. That was lucky. Yeah, I don't think you're living this, my friend. Oop. Right, there is no way for you to outspeed me. Alright. So you are dead. I just don't like the, gi the how it looks when it gigantamaxes. No, I don't. It's too square. Yep. I like its um, trunk, but the rest of its body is just too squared yep. off. It looks really clean oh. regularly. Yeah. So Rose just smiled at me and clapped. It literally looks like a cartoon elephant after a Gigantamax. Yeah. Yeah, the trunk looks cool with the uh, bones on it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to think of them as like saws. Yeah, oh, yep. But I can see them rotating. And you just being like a kind of bulldozer. I, I don't like its little arms that are like shifted up. <laughs> Weird. Uh, let's do that. Weird. Turn me away from you. There's something that a hundred men or more could ever do. Oh, here it is. Time to go up to Eternatus. Do you want me to wait? Oh, I'm, I'm almost there. Yeah, I'll wait. I just defeated Copper Roger. Nice. The whole time Eternatus is just, like, laid up inside the egg. Well, no, I think it's outside the egg. I think it's oh. just been on top of the building, just chilling. Like, I'm gonna get a ten, but I can't get a ten because this Lehman storm. Whenever I appear, this storm appears as well. Can't catch a break. Why are you clapping? Yeah, though it was weird that he claps. I wish you'd have gave us a hundred thousand dollars. You're rich. <laughs> I don't believe. Forty dollar bills. Tell, tell me how this theory pans out. I don't think after a battle, some they just give you money. Right? I think when you battle, it like registers something digitally, right? And then yep. when you lose, a certain percentage goes directly to the other trainer. Yeah, that could work like that. Just a, just a thought. Yeah, because you don't see it like in the anime, like every time Ash loses, like him getting his wallet out. He should have. Sucks so <laughs> bad. Taking all your money. He does. Gen 6 Ash is where it's at. Yeah. Have you watched the new show yet? Uh, I haven't, no. Worth it. But apparently that's quite good. Yes. And he does have a lot of powerhouses. I, I've seen like the mons he has. He's like a Gengar, a Dragonite. Gengar, Dragonite. Uh... I know he has Mr. Mime as well. Yep. A Dracovish. Mm. Let me know when you're heading up to Eternatus. Yeah, I'm actually concerned. Concerned? It's level 60. Yeah, I think so. But the only Pokemon that I got, its, it's stab move against Eternatus is also going to hurt everyone else. Have you got a Poison type? I don't. Uh, have you got a Steel type? I do, but it's weak. Heal it? Or is it weakening levels? Weakening levels. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, because this thing's level 60, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, my other one's level 46. The other one that I'd send to tangle, oh. with, it, tangle with it. Hmm. I could send this. Which in hindsight is probably one of the best ones. I mean, realistically, you have an Umbreon, which will probably live the hits. The other problem is I have one Pokemon. Africa would definitely wall it, but if Africa uses any attack, like, Earthquake would kill whatever Hop has. And it has. You could just be really passive. Could. Go for the Protects and then one of your other moves. 
I'm just gonna go Umbreon and just store power a whole bunch. Yeah. A turret just looks amazing. It does, it really does. Look how it just catches it with a Pokeball. Yeah, I got it. What would happen if he had a dome <laughs> on top of that Pokeball? Like, tried to force it closed. I love the broken Pokeball. storm that's going on in his ribs pretty cool as well wait 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 what? leon threw an ultra ball what leon threw an ultra ball and it landed in a pokeball i could swear really i i swear I, i'm gonna have to double check the footage but i swear hmm. he threw an ultra ball interesting I'm not sure. That's insane. Ah, hit me with a dragon pulse. I can definitely eat that all day. No, I can't, apparently. Oh my gosh. Right, it's flame throwing me. That's fine. I'm earth powering. This will be like at least 50%. Or almost Oko it. Yeah, that too. Wow. Laying down dead. Did you knock it out in one hit? Nope. Uh, two hits. Jeez. It's now climbing up into the sky. Oh no, look, it's a storm. There's a storm coming. Everyone get inside. It's causing things to levitate in the air. That's not a normal storm. No. You stop critting me. I guess. It Hold you. up, because that other battle, I should be able to knock this thing out with Africa then. I thought this was the big battle. No, no, we've got the, the second part. If I would have known that... Well, here comes Hop as well. Joining in. Why can't I Dynamax? Oh, God. Eternatus looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. Just, them one hit. Like, just the way it lays there. Oh no, I can't use any moves. I wonder how come Eternatus is hitting Africa so good, but yet Umbreon like laps in its face. Uh, special moves? Well, I mean, I gotta. I checked. Hippowdon has higher defenses than Umbreon does. Or, um. Oh, does one it? Of them. Oh. Oh, here we go. Alright, the turn just goes down. Now it uh, digivolves. Digimon. Oh, man. I've now got the flying whiffos. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be terrified. The oh yeah, like literally team. you would run and hide. 
But this music, oh, when Zacy and Zamazenta come, this music. It's my, it's my favorite music. Get out there, Umbreon. All right, all right. Phantom's gonna start with a substitute. Oh, Where are you? What? I can't use moves. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> Also, why does it turn us into like hands now? Alright. I love that they're like in this like two rocks. Yeah, we'll take that. Where's that going? Okay, it's attacking the double. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know how the hell they kill the double. How the heck did they fly <laughs> on the morphing grid from Power Rangers? You seen that? <laughs> That's so true. Actually, I didn't think about that. Let's do it. Oof, that behemoth blade. Man, the shield. Thumbnail is so freaking cool. Zossi is cool too. I like the sword and its mouth. I, I like the sword. I think I prefer Zacian, but I still. The Zamazent is okay, but I prefer Zacian. Mm. Oh, it's nullifying all of our abilities. Awesome. I love that Z uh, Zacian practically has wings. It's awesome. That's true, actually. I'm pretty sure that this double has just killed itself. Oh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> hmm. Alright, while y'all do that, I am going to substitute. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I'll, I'll take that all day. Boost, boost up my my stats. <laughs> yes. Do it. Zama's it to use light script, man. What a pro. What a friend. Yeah, I got the light screen as well. Oh shoot. Makes it so much Can I better. Please go first. Nice and double edge. That was a crick. That was a critical hit, Hop. You need to you need to get out of here. I tell you, Hop has been the most useless thing in this right now. Like he's literally dealt like two damage. And that's being Oh generous. my goodness, Midnight. Your substitute does not show up in this battle. Oh does no, it not? Wow. It's like invisible. That is insane. Oh, we have to catch this one. That is insane. Does it have shields? No, no, it doesn't shield. What happens if it knocks out one of the dogs? Mm, I'm assuming that the amount of damage output they do by themselves is enough to kill it before it gets killed. Mm. At least I'm assuming that's how it works. 
Get out there. Oh, man. look. The darkest day is now no longer a problem. Go ahead, mate. Behemoth Blade does look pretty freaking awesome. Mmm. Behemoth Blade, Behemoth Bash. <laughs> Oh, I'm back in Winden. Nap. Three days later, apparently. We've, we've taken a long break. Yeah, we've taken a nap. I was tired after beating up that that, that big thing. It just sounds wrong. Um, I'm going to do it without, without getting a, a single attack in. Substitute up. Oh no, it's not. What the hell? Where'd my substitute go? Is it possible to do in? Because I don't know if it's not possible to do actually. I used it and I was invisible. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Get them, dogs. Double's dead. Oh. All right. Let's see if Umbreon can can get the victory. <laughs> so get the KO. It didn't even do nothing. Oh. It did nothing. Wow. Umbreon didn't even get a single hit in. Every, everybody's moves just started being useless. Oh, there it is. No? <laughs> Didn't do nothing. Oh, it just killed It just killed Zacian. What? Yeah. Wow. I didn't think that was possible. Just killed Zacian. Wow, guys. Wow. Just killed. That is... Kind of intense. Inter we're like right there. It has like just a little bit of HP left. Yeah. We can't. For some reason, it's H. There it is. It's it's uh, removing all of it, everybody's stats. So. Yeah. Hmm. That's why it's doing a lot of damage. I think Zombazenta might kill it right now. Interesting. Still doing a, just a little bit of damage. Come on, Zombazenta, it's up to you. Zacian is unconscious. <laughs> It's gonna be Hop's double. It's gonna come back and save the day. Hop, Hop used this. Is using a Snorlax right now. Oh really? Yeah. Get that immunity going. I'm over here still with my Umbreon, just hanging tight. <laughs> oh, he's lowering. He's lowering our attacks with Max Y room. Oh, that's what he's doing. Not nice. We're stalling them out. We're so freaking close, too. It's kind of insane. Almost killed Hop Snorlax. <laughs> Have you lost any Pokemon nope. yet, though? Has your sub been broken? It has. Oof. I am negative two attack, one speed, and one defense. 
Wow. <laughs> Alright, we're attacking now. Oh, it did zero damage. <laughs> Damn it, it just got rid of all those status changes. Zamazitsa just got knocked out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh. It's just me and Hop now. Umbreon almost won! <laughs> Hop took out the Eternatus! <laughs> me, yeah, actually, me and Hop <laughs> did it! Zamazenta and Zashian were useless. They, they just didn't do a thing. Like, ugh. Nope. You know, you try and call on some gods and they just don't help you out at all. If they suck. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. No, I'm gonna throw a Premier Ball. How about that? I have like 30 Eternatus now from this. Oh, really? <laughs> I think that's like my third. One, two, three. Oh, I think it's my fourth. Oh, yeah, I suppose it forces you to catch, so it's one you, you're guaranteed yeah. to catch. I picked the cool Pokeball, too. Oh. Premier Ball. I think I just used the Pokeball. It kind of annoys me that the, um, like, the Dynamax Pokeball is literally just a Premier Ball. Yeah. You know what I can't wait for? Capsules to come back. Yes. The darkest day has been saved thanks to Phantom Ooh. and Hawk. All right. Well, I think we're going to call that an episode. That was exciting. Yeah. Um, up next, we I think it's the last episode over on Midnight's channel. I think it's the finale. Yeah. Uh, we got to take on Gosh Darn Leon officially. And then we have to uh, have a little battle with uh, myself. Yeah. And the uh, mighty Midnight Wolf to see we'll who, see who uh, is the ultimate who champion. Is the ultimate champion. <laughs> um, I don't. We can't lose anybody else. Is, is it gonna have to be a six eye? Gonna have to. <laughs> All right, but if you guys did enjoy this, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Be sure to go check out Midnight's channel. Link is in the description down below if you want to check out the last exciting episode of the Warlock. You know, but with that, everybody, I've been the Phantom Michael. That's Midnight Wolf. We're going to get the heck out of here, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.